Hi guys, it's Shweta here and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a battle of brands between dry shampoos. Okay, so dry shampoo is the new lifesaver for young girls like us. If you're working, you are going out and sometimes you don't feel like you have to wash your hair all the time, but it's oily and greasy and you don't know what to do. Well, the lifesaver is the dry shampoo. Foreign countries, I guess it has been for a certain amount of time, but dry shampoos in India are really limited. There are only a few brands that have brought out dry shampoos. The ones that I feel are the most popular in terms of people like us are these two brands. Brands. Now I will be reviewing both of these brands and comparing it to show you guys which one is better and rating it at the end so that you guys know which one is the best. So the first one on my right hand is the one by Be Blunt. It's called the Be Blunt Back to Life Dry Shampoo for instant freshness. This is perhaps one of the first dry shampoos that have come out. And the second one that I have in my left side is the Butter Stay Instant Hair Refresh Shampooing Express, which is a dry shampoo. So let's get started. The first brand that I will be reviewing will be the Be Blunt. Now this is the first dry shampoo I bought for myself as well. It's been a while. I think it's been... Uh, almost like a year that they had come with come out with the dry shampoo. Now Be Blunt is a brand by Aduna Akhtar if I'm not wrong and I have been following this brand for a certain amount of time and I have used their products especially the Be Blunt hair color. If you want to check out the review I will be linking down that in the description box for you guys to check out. And so the dry shampoo of this brand has been quite popular among people like us. Now the packaging is pretty nice and the size you can, you guys can see is pretty normal to average it's not a very small pack or a big one this one comes in the silver packaging and has everything written here it has it comes with this transparent cap it contains 125 ml or 75 grams and it retails for rupees 550 so i would say that it is not a very cheap product at the same time dry shampoos are newer to indian market so they are not going to be the cheapest thing around the thing is that this is pretty much available on most of the online stores whether it's nika flipkart amazon everywhere you can get it also in the selection stores near your places you will get it this V blunt shampoo comes in only one size so you don't get a smaller size for a like a trial pack in terms of the smell it smells very like it kind of reminds me of a smell of my childhood i don't know what it does exactly what it is it smells really pleasant it's not flowery it has this very light subtle um flower fragrance which is very pleasant it's not overpowering and it is not fruity it's not flowery it's not intense it's almost like a light powdery finish something like a lavender powder but not that intense i love the fragrance of this product because it's really subtle it's nothing too overpowering for your nose or you know it's really great so love 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 this smell Let's get started with using this. Hair is pretty much on the terms of being oily. I will be using this dry shampoo on this part of my hair. Now the procedure in using a dry shampoo is you always apply it to your scalp, not the hair itself. It does apply to the hair but the scalp is the main part. First you shake it well and then you shake it well and then the oily parts as you guys can see, you just keep it from a distance and spray and do it like this so that the thing goes inside Whoa, it doesn't leave any residue as you guys can see I applied it and it doesn't really leave any white residue which is good I find it uh, texture wise very light not very intense product on this side of my hair I can feel that the oil has been absorbed though it's not entirely absorbed I feel that it can work better than what it claims, claims to be I've used it a few times and I found it pretty good but at the same time if you expect the dry shampoo to like magically disappear everything it doesn't happen with this one at least I feel it can work a little more I have applied like four times on this place and it is less oily but then maybe it's the sweat or something that it's not working that well I find it's good but it's not the best thing that you can get. I had really great expectations from this one and so it did not like really get into that place. So in terms of the price and the overall satisfaction of the product, 
Uh, if I have to give a rating out of 10, I'll be giving it a 6 out of 10 because I feel that this product can work better. So the next brand of dry shampoo that I will be reviewing for you guys is the Batiste dry shampoo. I have the mini pack that I bought from Amazon.com. This is an Australian company which has come in India and it is very well popular in India as a dry shampoo. They have only this product right now and no other in terms of the branding. This is a 50 ml product or a 30 gram of product and this cost rupees $2.99. They do have a bigger packet which is like really big so I decided to try the smaller one first. The best part is it comes in this handy pack too so you can use it, see whether you like it or not and if you do you can buy the bigger pack for your better use. I love the packaging of this product. It comes in this really cute packaging and this is their cherry flavored um, dry shampoo. They have I guess three or four more flavors which is great because it can work for different people. People who like different kind of flavors for the hair and the smell. It has this blue packaging with pink lips here so it's really cute it has this cherry uh, flavor and so let's just open it it comes in this trans almost translucent upper packaging which can be put up and this is a spray this product is available on most of the online websites called like Amazon Flipkart Nika so you can get it pretty much very easily in terms of the smell it has an amazing cherry smell, so it's almost like I'm using cherry shampoo or something. But it's in a very pleasant way. Not those tacky cherry smell that you get for like an artificial smell. Really cute cherry smell. So as we have done with all that, let's just use it and see how it is. Now I will not be using it this side, I'll be using on this side of my hair to know better because I've already used the other product on the other side. Let's see on this side of my hair it's pretty oily as you guys can see so let's just check it out. I just you guys can see it does leave a white powdery um, residue if you guys can see this side it has this white powdery residue which is a little bit of a complaint but I feel it disappears after some time it can be pretty embarrassing if you use it on the top of your hair essentially I'll just use it and see as you guys can see it does leave this white residue here the, the only complaint that I have with this Batiste product is that when you use it on the first go it does leave like a white kind of residue a powdery residue on your hair on your scalp sometimes when you use a lot of it it leaves a lot of residue so that is my only complaint i felt that it works better than the be blunt one but then again i'm not really sure i feel that the quantity of dry shampoo that you require to have that kind of a shampoo effect is a lot so in case you want that shampoo effect on your hair that you have when you wash your hair and it's totally dry I would recommend you guys to go for the bigger bottle because I feel the smaller bottle will not last much longer because at one go you need at least four to five sprays, generous amount of sprays to get a good effect which will not last considering this is a very very small bottle. So in terms of the rating, I give this um, a 7 out of 10. I gave it only because I felt that it worked a little better in terms of the dry shampoo effect. I will not say there is a huge difference between um, both the products, they are very very similar but the, just the approach is a little different. If you want varieties you can get more towards better stay but if you want something very salon like, very subtle in smell I would recommend you guys to go for this one. I like both of them in their own ways, the only complaint I have with this one, with this one is the white residue and this one is this needs way more product in one go, more than I thought. So in terms of my conclusion, I will not say that one is better, though I gave this one a better rating, I just felt that these two are very very close in terms of their performance. Only thing I would suggest is I hope these companies come up with products which are way more effective in terms of using little product. I have used both these products in the past and one of the biggest complaints that I had is that I have to use a huge amount of product to get that result so it's not as if you're just going two to three sprays and you're good to go it's not like that you need a generous amount of product to get the result so that is a big problem because you will have to spend a lot behind dry shampoos but overall it's a great effort it's a great step towards getting into something that's quick and easy especially if you're a very busy girl and you are in, on your job all the time and you want to look good and you don't want, you don't have the time to go through all the washing and everything. It's a good effort. These products can be made better over time. 
but for now I would suggest that you guys can try out the smaller pack to get a clue about dry shampoos at first and use it for some time before concluding on whether you want to spend or invest more money into a product like this or whether you're good without it. Overall, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on all the social media channels. All the links will be down in the description box below. I will also link down these products and the places that they are available in the description box below for you guys to go ahead and check it out and purchase in case you like it. And uh, do comment on how you like the videos and if there are any video requests that you have, you can put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to make it as soon as I can. I will be coming with a lot more in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned and ciao!